Hello, my name is Paula and I'm the Energy Sparks Education Officer. Energy Sparks is a charity that supports pupils to take action on climate change in their schools. We do this by helping you to make the biggest changes to your school's carbon footprint as possible. We help you develop important life skills and essential knowledge about climate change and the part that you and your school plays. Let's get started. We want you to reduce your school's carbon footprint. That's the impact that your school has on the environment. We're called Energy Sparks because the biggest chunk of your school carbon footprint is down to how much energy your school consumes. Of course, other things contribute to your carbon footprint too. Energy Sparks has got a lot of information and activities on our website where you can find out a bit more about carbon footprints and calculate this for your school. But right now, let's just take a minute and recap the basics. Your school uses energy in the form of electricity or gas for powering and heating your school. You may have solar panels on the roof, but if not, most of your electricity will come from the national grid. The grid provides you with electricity from a number of sources, burning fossil fuels, solar, wind, nuclear and more. What do you think your school uses this electricity for? Gas, meanwhile, is used for heating your school and hot water. Some schools also use oil or biomass for heating and electricity for heating or hot water. Gas and oil and coal are fossil fuels. Burning them, or biofuels, for heating or power releases a gas called carbon dioxide which traps heat from the sun in our atmosphere, warming our climate. A warmer climate is nothing new to our Earth. Our planet has gone through several cycles of heat and ice over billions of years. However, the speed of warming is unprecedented. It's never ever happened this quickly before. We call this anthropogenic climate change because scientific evidence shows that it's caused by human activities. Human activities like burning fossil fuels for heat and power, as well as other things like animal agriculture, flying and producing lots of stuff. You'll be aware of many of the impacts of this climate breakdown. Wildfires, flooding, food shortages, extreme weather events, melting glaciers. You might well be thinking, well, what does any of that have to do with me or my school? Well, I like to think of our atmosphere as a big bath. Humans filling our atmosphere up with greenhouse gases is not too dissimilar from you filling a bathtub up to spilling point with water. If the bathtub overruns, disaster. If greenhouse gas levels in our atmosphere get too high, we're looking at disaster too. If your bathtub is overflowing, the first thing you do is turn off the tap. Well, we have to do that with our fossil fuel use. We need to stop filling up the atmosphere with planet warming greenhouse gases. Unfortunately, most of our activities involve emitting these. It's hard to live a complete zero carbon lifestyle, but what we can easily do is stop wastefully producing greenhouse gases. And this is where Energy Sparks comes in. Much of the energy being used by schools in the UK is being wasted. More than half of school's energy is used when pupils aren't even in school. What a waste. This is putting greenhouse gases into the atmosphere for absolutely no reason at all. And this costs a lot of money. There are lots of reasons that schools might be wasting their energy. It could be down to ignorance. School staff don't realise just when they're using energy, especially when this is during holidays or overnight. Or it could be because of bad habits. It's easy for people to leave things on, lights, standby, rather than turning them off at the wall. Or it might be down to a lack of understanding. It's only a little standby light, right? But it all adds up. It costs money and emits carbon dioxide and warms our planet. So here's where you can help. Energy Spark shows when you're using and wasting energy in your school. We give you all the information you need to understand your energy use and we provide activities that you can do in small groups or in your classes that will reduce your impact on the planet. We offer support guides for talking to the people in your school that can action the big changes like your business manager, caretaker or head teacher. And we provide loads of activities that help you get everyone in your school to take the small actions that all add up. Here's just an example of what it might look like to use Energy Sparks. 
This pie chart shows the amount of electricity used by one of our schools over a whole year. By the way, you can see the energy use of your school and most of our other schools just by going to energysparks.uk. The red chunk in this pie chart shows how much electricity this school is using during holiday times. This school doesn't run holiday clubs, so this is a big problem. Let's look at the data in another way. We're looking at the holiday weeks when pupils aren't in school, but they use almost as much electricity as when the school is full during term time. Now you can take action on this problem by trying to figure out what is being left on during holidays. Students could run a spot check during breaks, lunch times and after school to see whether lights, computers or other equipment is being left on. Or they could hold a school-wide shutdown on the afternoon before the holidays. They could encourage a discussion between the students and the teachers at the end of the day and then turn off anything that's not needed over the holidays. They do need to remember to check back after the holidays and see if they've made a difference to the amount of electricity being wasted. We can help you in your school run programmes that will cut down your electricity use for equipment, lighting and kitchen use and gas use for heating the school when it's empty and making the school too hot. Why not talk to your teachers about how you could be using energy sparks in your lessons in your maths, science, geography, English and tutor time sessions? And why not have a look at our website? It's also got ideas for how you can be tackling energy waste at home. We run a competition for schools involved in Energy Sparks. At the end of the year, we see which schools have been taking most pupil action, and that's pupil led activities. And the top schools regionally and nationally win prizes. We hope to see your school leading our scoreboard soon. And of course, the more energy you stop wasting, the more money your school will be saving too. Not only that, working with Energy Sparks helps you build valuable skills, gives you great project experience makes a difference to your school and helps stop climate change. Talk to your form tutor or sustainability lead to find out how you can get involved with Energy Sparks in your school.